So welcome everybody to a Sunday Lighting Critique. We pushed it last minute. Um, so what we're going to do is we have these two two different people have submitted, uh, Amber and Christina, and we'll go over both of their works. And if they pop in, we'll ask them some questions. And if not, we'll just give them some feedback. So let's go ahead and get started. And since I already have Amber's up and we talked about last time, let's start with Amber's uh adjustments. I also included Jay Lopez's um, paint over that he did. And so we can talk a bit about that um, as well as look at the reference. So does anyone have any feedback right away? Yeah, I think Juan's uh, paint over is awesome. I totally agree that the light source should can go brighter and the light from the light source go like way brighter or like yeah be overpowering because she's right in front of the headlights right yeah yeah and also that somebody else commented that the lights are probably too saturated so they're losing kind of the physically correct aspect of their of it when they're impacting like on her the environment her but yeah that, i think those are really good points yeah 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 there's a lot going on in 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 this um mm -hmm. and i think what's really strong about the pain over is the believability of um, her kind of keeping an eye closed because of how bright mm -hmm. this light is it it in this shot it feels much more effective and it makes sense to me more so than in this shot um, like you can feel the brightness and part of that is the the bloom that's going on um, from the light and then it also just is very clearly the the primary source on her at the moment yeah. um, and then yeah i guess it, since we don't have looked at i don't know exactly what her skin tone is supposed to be um so yeah, if you, you know, make, just make sure that if you're going with the paint over, you know, you're still like kind of respecting the skin tone you want your character to be. Um, but that being said, like, I like this desaturated, more desaturated look from this light here on her. Um, and it, this, the color palette seems to be a bit more like um, in concert with each other. Um, another thing it looks like Jay Lopez did was he... Uh, he got rid of these lights. Um, or like uh, dimmed it down so the shaping from it is still mm -hmm. there. So that you can see like the little glow and the little gradation from the top of the door to the bottom. Yeah. But there isn't like a super bright center. And, and plus it gave more shaping on the door than before. Because right now the light is there and it causing it's like creating visual interest. But the yeah the door is like flat and the bright core of it does, draws the eye a little bit mm -hmm. more, so, more, yeah. yeah i mean that almost feels smoky to me you know like it's like it's mm -hmm. and that i don't know if that was what was intended but it is it is very distracting yeah i think um i actually like the lights on like you know the the, the light bulbs in there but I think that should be, it should be affecting the the door and the and the 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 the, the overall around it more. Uh, um, same way as this as the headlamp on the on the car, you know, it's like like this. It, the headlamp would be like completely blown out. You you wouldn't have any details on that in real life. You know, it would be like. It's either we you see the 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 detail on the headlamp or you see the rest of the image. Um, mm -hmm. So 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 yeah, I think even the the the, the paint over uh, it could be it, it could go stronger than that on on the on the on the blown out of the headlamps um, of the headlights. Yeah. And uh, and also same thing on the on the lights on the background. I think the lights on the background are nice mm -hmm. um, that they have the, they they give the reflection on the ground and stuff gives it a little bit more interest there. But yeah, could give could, could be could have a, a bit more 
following him around the, the door and the, and the, the the everything else you know the the the, the brick wall mm -hmm. also you know have a little bit more of variety in, in terms of lighting there um and also i don't know how how much um she wants to to work on that but um i think the materials especially on the ground could be uh, uh tweaked so that it looks more like a you know it kind of looks like a, a formica or something right now where you know maybe add a bump or something so that it's it looks more like a you know asphalt yeah. or or, mm -hmm. or whatever you want that to be yeah i think it would help a lot if like this part was like sidewalk cobblestone yeah. Or something. Yeah. And this part is like the street, maybe with like the little these things. <laughs> yeah. Painted on whatnot. Yeah, because it's like like those those two uh um it, it kind of almost looks like a, a tramway, uh, uh you know, uh, uh Yeah, like we're in like San Francisco or something. Yeah, yeah, a cable car or something, you know. <laughs> uh yeah. there, but but I but it doesn't really look like that. It's like, what is that? Is yeah. it is it the beginning of the sidewalk? Is it the the division between one side of the street and the other? You know, I don't really know. Yeah, and it's very very low res. Like to me, it looks like a um, like kind of a a noise has been placed on top of the it with like two different colors right. to kind of break up the surface. Um, but it it just has it has a very low resolution feeling. Um, and like, if this is a tramway or something, it'd be really cool to, to like, yeah, to really play that up a bit more or turn it into a road. And there does, yeah. like right here, there's an interest, I can, uh, this either looks like a compositing issue or um, just like a, just a gap between objects or the back plate, if that's a back plate. Um, I'd also say- Well, that, that to me looked like a step uh to go to what i think was that was to me the first idea was that that's where the sidewalk starts yeah but it's just like if it is oh, yeah, yeah it's like know. there's no there's no sidewalk to be had like here yeah. um yeah so definitely yeah be mindful of that and that's the I thing mean, go ahead the Andre, thing, sorry the other thing i would say is i would uh I would turn on the specularity on the gun, or at least I don't know more lighting on the gun because if it's because it, it's it's a metal surface yeah. and it's this close from the light, and it, it would be like you know reflecting light all over the place, and right now it's like eh, kind of mm -hmm. you know, so I, I I I would expect more lighting, more more reflection coming from it. Yeah. Another thing I'm noticing is it feels like it's like most of the geo in the scene isn't subdivided. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot of really like harsh lines, um, that I would be mindful of. Um, I think if like you kind of have a, the geometry that you're going to have and you can't change it or you can't get something that's a bit like higher poly, um, what, Juan did here, you know, was he darkened a lot of those areas, um, and, and made it less, less obvious and more like, there's just a little bit of the geo light kind of giving it more complexity just in, in like kind of what's hidden in the shadow here too. This, this feels more like kind of grounded in this world than this one does like, um, because he's hidden a lot of the detail, like, um, so that's one way if you if you have to keep this geometry or, or you're not looking to um, kind of increase the resolution. Yeah, uh, that's, could, what yeah. I was, that's what I would say, like, see what you can do to kind of plus up this area in terms of materials and whatnot. But if it's like too much or like too much work to be done for what you have from what you have, then 
I think this works well where it's like really fading into the background. But I do want to like, like emphasize again that this is nice, but it doesn't lose this kind of like gradation going this way from these like light sources. Actually, it's like, I feel like there's some shaping this way and like things like that, I think can really add detail and not draw the eye to what's back here, like Boris was saying, so. Yeah, subtlety. I think, I think that'll go a long way. You're definitely right, Diana. Um, anyone else? I think, I think that uh, one thing that I um, think is really good is the eye looks perfectly nice and, and maybe kind of just work the way that, uh, uh, so that it's, that's the center of, you know, that, that's the main point of, of, of interest, you know, mm -hmm. uh, um, right now it's like it's so much stuff it's like you know the the headlamp the mm -hmm. the headlights the 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 gun the the yeah, like, like oh you know where do i look where it's like should be her face uh to do that yep Sweet. Well, yeah, excellent updates, Amber, and look forward to seeing what you do next. If you have any questions, feel free to just post in the Whip and Feedback channel, and uh, we'll definitely get back to you. All righty. So next up, we have this piece from Christina. I think this is a bit, is it too big? I can't tell. Now it's too big. Um, so we have this piece, and then we have the reference. So I think they were saying this is a piece that they had worked on a while ago and they started to revisit it. Um, they wanted to get some feedback so that they can improve upon it. So this is the reference, which I like. I like the um, kind of the mix of these metals and the, the, the stone squares and some of these like kind of more like, signs Warm and whatnot. Light. More, yeah, yeah, these blue areas. Warm lights and then like the cool Arts are kind of cyan. Yeah. Nice. And if we hop over here. Yeah, I like this. I like what's going on. The, yeah. All the assets it has, like, seems like there's a lot of detail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw that you can do this now. I don't know if you probably could always do this, but. I don't know. Uh, we're learning some sketch. <laughs> Starting to. <laughs> yeah, I think what you said was very like telling about what you liked about the reference. Like there's a ton of like there's some good information in the spec. And I think getting some like specular variations. Cause this is like metallic with the rust. I think it would have some interesting it should have some interesting information in specular. I think that would add a lot. Like, yeah, this is pretty much the only kind of specular reflection I can really see mm -hmm. at first. And it's really smooth brush metal. Nothing wrong with that. But I think having more throughout the scene will help. Yeah. Yeah. And like having it be maybe a bit more like having a a bump map in there or something to break it up and make it a bit more interesting. And then as far as like the brightest parts of the, the image, I feel like my eye is immediately drawn here. And then secondly here. So it's like both, both of these feel a bit too bright compared to what feels like the, the key subject. And so I think there could have a lot more, to, there could be a lot more done to like give shaping to this and, and use these to kind of give the feel of we're in this back alley, but really draw attention to this isolated character. I think this whole side could go dark. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's in the reference. It's really like right here. Yeah. That's all dark. I also think that like, uh, you know, uh, 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 but, and then I don't know how, how, how close to the reference Mm -hmm. she wants to be, but it's like, there's a lot more contrast in blacker blacks on the reference than, than on the, Mm on the piece. So maybe add a, a little bit of contrast or, you know, play with the more places in shadows where, where like, for example, if you look on the edges, there's almost no, um, almost no information on the, on the reference, you know, it goes to pure black almost. Yeah. Where in, in the, in the, in the piece it's, it's, you know, it goes into the gray, um, the other thing is that I, I I'm not sure what's going on with the uh, with that. I think it's like a concrete tube. Um, yeah, it's the, the, yeah. The edge of it looks like it's transparent or something. Because yeah, it looks, like, it looks like it's clipping. I can see, yeah, the one behind it where it should be like dark and I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see that. Yeah, I really, like, if this is a dark alley with, uh, like, a street lamp, then I I do feel like, I, I wonder, do you think there's a shadow? I think, I think some of that's a shadow, but we're also clipping here. I think that's the shadow from, from the, the vegetation, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, but, yeah, if this is, like, a street lamp, I think this should go darker. I do, yeah. The shadows. Oh, uh, yeah. I get what you're saying. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like, really make it feel like there's this just pool of light, like just the tiniest bit of bounce because, you know, this is just a really mad floor. But, but yeah, it doesn't feel like night time. Yeah. Alley, uh, right here. But yeah, I think there's really potential to go heavier on the contrast and really make this character feel like it's alone in singular pool of light that yeah. is in this just pr- checking our theory It's actually really therapeutic. <laughs> kind of, Coloring. Yeah. I haven't done that since you were. But yeah, just like having it so that it, it draws the viewer's eye more there instead of over here. Clearly you could do better with the shaping that I'm doing, but um, just something that, you know, you can like play with having brighter specular here, you know, yeah. or like tighter specular hints of tight specular that you can also like throw the focus in there and how it creates some interesting like effects. Yeah. And then if you can move these, that would be nice. I think, (laughs) I think they are a bit distracting Um, or just do like a massive overhaul on how they're interacting with the light because it's, it's really drawing attention away from the bot. Yeah, well, maybe you can play around with the with the with the materials on it and have mm-hmm. like moss and you know whatever dirt and everything so that it's not as bright um, as it is now. Because if it's like if it's an abandoned alleyway, it, like they these uh, everything looks old, and then these concrete whatever look like they would just drop there yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And just watch, watch your clipping. Like here's clipping, here's clipping. Like you could even, it doesn't have to be necessarily be these, but just like you could, you know, put some objects and, or just do some things that, that help kind of hide where, where the ground plane is intersecting with um, some of the objects in a way that doesn't feel either organic or um, kind of, you know, part of the scene. Um anyone else thrown off by the scale of these guys? I, I thought of that in the beginning. Uh, 
because they look really small and they reminded me of the the little cons you use when you're playing soccer <laughs> yeah that does feel like more the scale yeah but then but then it wouldn't be this color and it wouldn't have the little stripe going around so i don't know yeah that's something that i think could be worked on mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think you could make it make it bigger yeah mm -hmm. And I think that would just be it, all you need to do for it to scale. Or maybe the robot is massive, you know, it's like... Yeah, that's the, like... That's robot the thing. 3, you know, that's where it comes from, so... Yeah, it really depends on what you want Yeah. the mood to hit, like what kind of mood you want to hit. Because, yeah, you know, this could could be a big robot. I think if you want to go that way, some other things may have to change. Yeah, no, totally. But, yeah, but you it could, yeah, but if you're going for something where it's like, you know, just like a, not tiny, but like a regular size, smaller robot that's been thrown by a person because he yeah. left it because he's fallen up, then yeah, just scaling these up would be fine. Yeah, because like the, 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 the vegetation looks small. It's not a tree. It's, you know, it's a, little branch of something that um so so obviously the the robot is small uh but the cones are tiny yeah and so if yeah if the robot is small you know one of the things he, uh they could do one of the things they could do is um like play with the depth of field to be even shallower yeah um to kind of to help with that scale or and um you could even maybe play with reframing it a little bit too um just to really help kind of people understand the scale and, and drive it home uh another thing i was just noticing is like the the texture of the screen or like what i assume is the screen like that ha would have the eyes it doesn't necessarily feel like screen texture or like it's been like painted over because if it's been painted over it's been painted over very finely um instead of like it being like spray painted over you know and like some of that like getting onto the the metal part but i'd maybe look at like that texture and what what you want it to be almost feels like chalkboard to me yeah But yeah, I think there's a ton, so much potential to really make push the like, some kind of loneliness. I don't know if that's what we're supposed to be getting, but that's what I, I'm getting a little bit. Yeah, like, that would be really, even with the really slapped on pain over you today. I was like, oh, it's already feeling yeah. like I want to just go up and pick him up. They're so sad. I want to pick him up, take him home. <laughs> but it's my brother. evil brother. It's gonna come into your house and it's gonna. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, bullies, bullies, bully. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Well, any other, any other notes before we uh, wrap this up? Sweet. Well, yeah. Thank you for, for uh, watching. Thank you for giving feedback and yeah. Looking forward to seeing everybody next Saturday or not, not next Saturday, but the Saturday after that. So Thank see you. you all soon. Thank Bye. you.